Greetings and welcome to World of Warcraft. My name is Aaron, also known as Ye Bitten Dog, and today I thought I would start a little series on the channel just questing and exploring and enjoying the game from sort of a solo perspective. I have another series uh, called Questing with Kids where I play the game with my sons. We are currently playing Horde characters, so I thought I would do a solo series as an Alliance character. And recently, I just unlocked my first ever allied race, the Kul Tiran. They're these big chonky boys, and I really like them, and I especially like their druid forms. They're these like bramble sort of thorn beasts, which are really cool. And just look at that belly. Just look at it. So I feel like I relate a lot to these guys being a big chonky boy myself. So I uh, went ahead and made a character. His name's Ezrin. Looks like me a little bit, except one of his eyes is missing. But I've also never really played a druid. I hear they're a little difficult to master, but they can do basically anything. They can heal, they can tank. And since it's been a while since I've played, I really want this series to be a more relaxing, enjoyable playthrough. Something that's not focused on getting the max level and getting the best gear and more or enjoying the journey and try to have a lot of fun along the way. So thanks for tuning in. All right, here we go. Enter world. Every Kul Tiran shares a bond with the sea. From the tides we draw our strength, our courage. For a time, we let fear and distrust divide us. Lost in a storm of doubt, we forgot what it meant to stand as one people. As one family. Today, Kul Tiras proudly flies the Alliance flag once more. Hey look, there we are. Whatever awaits us on the horizon, we will face it together. All right, here we are in the Harbor Master's office. I love the aesthetic of the Kul Tiran. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set up my action bars and my chat and everything. Okay, so we start out at level 10. So we already have three forms. We have our bear form. We have our cat form. And we have a travel form which we can use outside. And we need to choose a class specialization. I really like the bear, and we're gonna be leveling by ourselves a lot of the time, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate guardian mode, the tank. Bingo. Yeah. Now, what I did recently on my warrior was I played through the first portion of the battle for Azeroth, and that sort of led me to unlocking the Kul Tirans. And I wonder if I'm going to have to play through that again on this character. Or if we can choose to go to a new zone. Or the Alliance. Thank you for meeting with me, Ezrin. I need representatives to go to Stormwind to represent our loyalty and commitment to our newly forged bond with the Alliance. I've had Eva and her Magi prepare a portal to the city for you in the Sanctum of the Sages. Once there... Go to the Stormwind Embassy and meet with Ambassador Morgard. You will face many challenges on the long journey ahead. Remember where you came from and make your people proud. We Kul Tyrans have always been an adventurous people. I have no doubt that your deeds will bring glory to the Alliance and pride to Kul Tiras. Please give my regards to the King. And wherever the winds take you, look always to the sea. All right, so now we just need to travel to Stormwind. Let's go ahead and track a few things. Bankers, barbers, innkeepers, mailboxes. This is Boralos. This is the home of the Kul Tirans. I love the aesthetic, the architecture, and also just where they live is really pretty and cool. And here are the portals. Right now, we just have the portal to Stormwind. We'll go ahead and take it. All right, so here we are in Stormwind. It looks like it took us right to the embassy. There you are. You must be Ezrin. We've been expecting you. We're going to get a letter from King Anduin Rin and a tabard of Kul Tirs. 
Stranger in a Strange Land. Welcome to Stormwind, Kul Tiran. King Anduin Wren invites you to explore our fair city. Since you hail from Kul Tiras, might I suggest visiting our lovely docks? They are home to our majestic fleet. I would be shocked if you were not impressed. Ah, but that can wait. An emissary of Kul Tiras is standing by to tell you of adventures that await beyond the city walls. Have a pleasant stay. Find the hero's call board in Stormwind City. Be careful. Okay. So we got a letter from the king. We got a tabard to put on. Welcome to the Alliance Enclosed. Please find a letter from Anduin Rin, King of Stormwind. Welcome, friend. I am King Anduin Rin. As a new member of the Alliance, I wish to greet you personally. These are troubled times for Azeroth. In the days to come, you will face many trials, fight many foes. Know that you are never alone against the darkness, for the Alliance stands with you. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Something tells me we will speak again soon. Let's check out our new mount. It's a dog. Come here. Oh, you can pet him. <laughs> awesome. Here is our Voltiran mount, the Charger. Very cool, I love it. So we're looking for the Hero's Call Boy. Okay, so this is the Hero's Call Boy. Speak to Provisioner Frey. It's this lady right here. Ahoy! Wherever you venture, know that Kul Tiras is behind you. This is my first time outside of Kul Tiras, so I'm going to check the docks. Safe travels, Ezra. Uh, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Well met. Tides of War, champion. An urgent war council is underway. Presence is requested in Stormwind Keep. Tin the war council. Light bless you. Champion, an urgent war council is underway. Your presence is requested in Stormwind Keep. Okay. The other thing I'd like to do is pick up some professions while we're here before we start adventuring so that we can work on those as we're out in the world. Before we go see the king, let's go to the trade district. Here's a barber. Let's go see. Point break or trade wins? I think trade wins is a little more wild. Let's do trade winds and I'm torn between the Tuscar or the groomed. Let's do groomed. That sounds fun. What? You can customize your different forms? They're amazing. Ooh, I really like the green. This is really cool. I didn't know that you could actually customize all your different forms up here. And yeah, we'll just do them all green for now since our character has green eyes. Except five silver. That's not bad. All right, we got a little achievement as well, shaving a haircut. We're dapper as hell. For now, we'll keep our hearthstone set to Kul Tiras. Excuse me, sir. What do you need directions to? Let's do fashion trainer. Um. For the alliance. What can I do for you? What do we want? We can do the three. Let's do the three uh, secondaries first. Let's go get cooking and fishing and. Marked it on a map here. It's an old town. These Kul'Tiran forms look so cool. I don't know if I plan on doing a lot with professions, but I like to have them just in case. As a druid, I know I want to be an herbalist. And I'm torn because I'm not sure if I want to be a... Where's the cooking drink? Here he is. I'm not sure if I want to be a, a double gathering profession or if I want to do alchemy. Cooking. Okay, so we have skills in different levels. So Old World Recipes has its own skill and the Cataclysm Recipes have their own skill. 
All right, let's go find the fishing trainer. That bum Leland, all he does is sit out on the dock outside of the trade district and fish all day. I sure hope he's good at it for all the time he spends fishing. If you want to learn, why don't you go talk to him? Light bless you. Fishing level five. Click while facing a body of water. No fishing pole needed. Right click on the bob in the water when it splashes to catch your fish. Oh. So we can learn all these fishing. All right, cool. Now let's go find the archaeology train. Harrison Jones teaches archaeology in Stormwind Keeps Royal Library. Uh, in the field. Go with honor, friend. Okay, we've actually got to go there to meet the king. So let's see help. where profession trainer herbalism. You can find Tens standing outside alchemy needs in the age Alright, let's go see her first. Then. So I think I may go herbalism and skinning so that I can just gather instead of producing and then we can help other players or sell to other players that need herbs and leather and stuff like that. I feel like those are the two most like natural gathering professions. We could go mining, um, but I like skinning and I like picking flowers. Ah, you're there. Herbalism. I only know two professions at any one time. Go ahead and grab Cataclysm Herbalism as well. Be careful. Yeah, we can find herbs. Awesome! We're an herbalist now! Be Let's see. You. Profession Trainer Skin. Old Town and Drop by the Protective Hide if you're looking for skin. Be careful. Alright. Skinning Trainer. Protective Hide. Greetings! Hello there. I'm a Kul'Tiran. God, I didn't realize how big they are compared to normal humans. Leather worker, skinning trainer. Hello. Can I help you? The basics of how to skin animals for their pelts and furs for use in leather. Train. Also learn cataclysm skinning. There we go. Skinning skills. All right. Herbalism and skinning. I love it. And now we just need to learn archaeology, which is at the keep. So let's head to attend the War Council and see exactly what they're wanting us to do first. And I don't mind playing through the Kul Tiras stuff again. I actually only got to see a portion of it recently because I just picked up where I had last stopped playing on my Warrior. I really like the quest there, and we're just going to enjoy the ride, man. Maybe we can unlock the other allied races on this character. That would be fun. Before we head in there, let's run up in here and see if we can find the archaeology trainer. Ah, look, library. Gotta be in here. The Royal Library. Oh. Maybe not. Can't talk to these guards. To do this first. Everyone is here. What news do you bring, Spymaster? Recently, Horde agents broke into the stockades and freed two Zandalari prisoners. A princess and a prophet. I'm aware. What of the eight warships we sent in pursuit? Only one returned. Survivors say they encountered strange and terrifying magics. And a massive Zandalari fleet. Impossible! It's one of Sylvanas' tricks! It has to be. Jaina, perhaps you could help us see what this survivor has witnessed. Show us. Show us what happened. Vision of the Sailor's Memory. If the 
Horde makes allies of the Zandalari, we won't have the power to stop them. How are you? Then we must make allies of our own. My people command the most powerful navy in all of Azeroth. If I could bring Kul Tiras back into the Alliance... Jaina, you're the reason they left the Alliance. And dealing with that is the only hope we have of bringing them back. I believe it is. And I believe you can. It will be difficult. And dangerous. I will return with the fleet. Or not at all. Be careful, Jaina. Light be with you. Right, the tides of war. The Horde have forced our hand yet again. This cannot stand. Voltiris is the greatest naval power in Azeroth and former ally, but we've had little contact with him since Jaina's father, Lord Admiral Dalen Proudmore, was defeated at Theramore. Many have criticized Jaina's decision that day, saying she believes so deeply in the promise of peace between the Alliance and Horde that she betrayed her own father. Perhaps she feels the time has come to atone for this. Loath as I am to put Jaina in harm's way, Kul Tiras must join the Alliance. Good luck. Victory in the light. I must prepare my ship. Champion, meet me in the harbor when you are ready to depart. Let's do sure. it. Yeah. Alright. Speak with Lady Jaina Proudmore. So we still need to pick up archaeology. We want to be geared up for this adventure, so we're taking our time. I told you guys at the beginning of the video. Get ready for just some ha hanging out. Bjorgrim, that is an awesome dwarf. Look at this guy. He's a freaking. That is an awesome set of armor. No one here. I wonder if archaeology has to be taught at like higher level or something. Oh, look, a transmographer. If anyone else has any druid tips, let me know in the comments. Uh, as somebody who's playing one for the first time, I have not really looked anything up either, so going in blind. Hopefully we'll figure it out along the way, but if you guys see something that would help me out or know some tips, shoot them my way. All right, here she is. What would you ask the daughter Be prepared of the to take the journey to Kul Tiras. Take me home. We all have our ghosts. Well, that was quick. Right back to the harbor master's office. I grew up hearing tales of, of the great kingdom of Lordaeron and tales of its fall. The scourge took my mother, my father, and my homeland before I was even old enough to understand. Talia, Tiras must be unified before it of any help to the Alliance. Let's get you briefed on the current situation in each of our major territories. Then you can take a look at the map behind me and make a call on where you want to go first. Inspect the scouting map in the Harbor Master's office. Stay on course. Kul Tiras is made up of several major houses. They were unified under Balin Proudmoor's leadership, but that gradually changed after his defeat at Theramore. Lord Admiral Catherine Proudmoor now rules in his place commanding both the military and the guard. Despite our efforts to maintain order, Kul Tiras has seen an increase in crime, corruption and piracy. People are losing faith in the Proudmoor Admiralty. To the west lies Drostvar, a mountainous region providing most of the kingdom's ore and some of our toughest warriors. House Waycrest has been a loyal supporter of Proudmoor's rule for centuries, but their recent absence from council meetings has given rise to troubling rumours. In Stormsong Valley, to the north, the Tide Sages of House Stormsong craft and bless the ships of our legendary fleet. But nobody's heard from the fleet in months. The Tide Sages have withdrawn into their cloisters and seem uninterested in finding our missing ships. We must unite the houses beneath the Proudmoor banner and locate the missing fleet. Otherwise, Kul Tiras could fall apart before this war even begins. Let's inspect this map. Tiragard Sam. Expose the corruption in Boralus and earn Catherine Proudmoor's trust. We must convince Catherine Proudmoore to pledge Kul Tiras to the Alliance. 
Slynn believes the Ashvane Trading Company's new gunpowder is our best lead. Is it true that one can travel from Stormwind to Ironforge by some kind of underground tunnel? Sounds incredible. I'd love to see it someday. Support you however we can. Come back with the story. Come sail away. Complete the introduction of the situation? To your regard, sound. Maybe with your help we can restore the people's faith and proud more leadership. Alright, Slyn, what's this big lead of yours? Something about Ashvane having a new gunpowder? <laughs> How is that a lead? They're making new weapons all the time. Not like this, they aren't. Are you thirsty? Emissary, mind giving our skeptical colleagues here a demonstration? Right. I'm all in. The Ashvane Company doesn't know about it yet, but that new powder we swiped could be the key to bringing them down. First, how about we give everyone a little demonstration of just how powerful this stuff is. Flynn loads a pinch of the glittering powder into his pistol. Go ahead, take a shot at that barrel over there. Don't look back. <laughs> that! Ashvane's dirty secret. It's a kick, though. just a pinch. Imagine how much damage they could do with more of this stuff. So the Ashvane's goons are walking around with a new powder that can blow a galleon clean in half and the military has no idea. We need to find out how much of this powder they have and where it's going. An old buddy of mine works the ferry down by the Ashvane foundry. He may have some he may know something about this. You can take the ferry from Tradewinds Market to East Point Station. Once you get there, look for a man named Cagney. Tell him I sent you. He owes me a favor. Remain Lynn, I have another job for you. Help our new ally track down the source of this powder. You got it. So, oh, fancy some bits and bobs? We'll go ahead and make this in our home. Snug Harbor Inn. I'm not going to pick up any quests here just yet. I want to stay on track with the main quest line. And then as we get more information about the different zones, we can head out and do some of the side quests. Will Melbourne. Very mad. Fancy a cuppa? East Point Station. Let's go! Here we are. I just love the interiors. Detailed everything is. Fun. Alright, well we are officially in Boralus. We are starting the Battle for Azeroth sort of quest lines. So I think this is a good place to sort of stop our first video. I'm still kind of debating what I'm going to call this series. Maybe the Dirty Druid Diaries or something. Just like our little solo adventures, um, at least for now. You know, I may have some friends come and join me on some episodes. If there are you guys out there looking for somebody to play with or level with or just kind of chill and take it easy with, leave me a message. Join the Discord. The link's down in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Keep being awesome. Keep kicking ass. And I'll see you guys again soon.